Hello, we are in Italy and I want to speak about what's going to go on to go down tomorrow, the 12th, the 20th of uh, January 2017. Because I have strong <laughs> um, doubts I that somebody, something big is going to happen. Oh, what is it going to happen? I don't know. I don't want to be incriminated. I don't know. But I guess there are many options. The best are the be uh, I mean, I do hope nothing is going to happen. But false flag operation, riots, chemical weapons, biological weapons, tac tactical nuclear weapon, the worst case scenario, uh, whatever. Uh, no one is safe. Okay. Uh, I I doubt. Uh, I I I I I think that many people are scared. So there will be not big attendance, and uh, the biggest attendance I think are those who came there to disrupt the ceremony, and. Um, that makes me think that um, the strong powers, bank, corporation, CIA, uh, masonry, whatever, are not conspiracy theories. These things exist. The Democrats, whatever, we have evidence there and there are... Mm, there is online. Uh, evidence people are looking for seeking paid labor <laughs> to disrupt things to manifest against Donald Trump this has been portrayed like demon the embodiment of the evil it's not is a rich person not politically correct maybe I wouldn't uh, Maybe he wouldn't pass, spend time with me, but it's not a person that is very likable, personable. Uh, he has got a lot of money, and uh, well, he has this um, manners that very rich people have, Berlusconi have. They can be also funny, but uh, the problem is. This is the heart of America. Common people are more like him than Hillary Clinton. But conniving warmongerer Hillary Clinton. What has he done so bad? He was not in power. But let's see what she did. Mm -hmm. So the problem during the election is not what she did. What she's done in the past. What she, but the fact that... Well, this information came up just now. It's the Russia. The bad guys is Russia. ISIS, not bad guys. Well, we speak ill about them, but we're not really bombing them. And those people who bomb them, the Russians, are bad. They kill civilians. I guess NATO never killed civilians. Not in Serbia. They, na they never kill civilians. American never bombed anyone, doesn't have drones, uh, good guys, Russia bad guys. Russia. There is a problem in Syria with uh, um, gas ducks, um, uh, gas lines. Gas ducks doesn't, doesn't exist as well. Anyway, um, ISIS was partially funded, backed by America. You know that. Um, the CIA is not trustworthy. We know they spoke about mass weapons of mass destruction in um, Iraq. They waged a whole war, war against them. But they were not there. So we should trust these people saying that Russia interfered with our elections. Really? What happened in Ukraine? 
did they not interfere? Well, not all America, also European Union. Mm -hmm. Fomenting revolts and riots. Well, I guess... Um, doesn't apply when it's America. America can interfere, but Russian... Russians cannot. But I think they should not interfere. I don't think they interfered, but... Come on. Um, I'm not a big fan of Donald Trump's. Okay? I don't adore and worship him. I just think that the fact that Hillary Clinton was not elected is a good sign. Will he deliver? I don't know. I doubt, I do hope he does half of what he promised. I do hope that Hillary Clinton and her husband will end up where they belong, in jail. And I do hope that a thing will change in Europe as well. We are in the present new Soviet Union, which is called European Union. Take off, delete the Soviet, put European, and you have the same thing. Different peoples with different languages in a supposedly lever where everybody is on a par, but where the actual power belongs to Russia at the time, Germany now a days. Okay? With the the fact that we have we should have other powerful nations. The two powerful nations there be could counterbalance the power of Germany were France and England. England said goodbye, and France, I hope, is going to do the same thing. So, we stay, <laughs> we stupid Italians are still there. Uh, we, we, come on, let's speak out. What are, who is the natural enemy of Italy? Every species has their nemesis, the natural born enemy of Italians is Germany. Germany. Don't we see what happened in the Second World War? How much did we <laughs> last with Germany? Not so long and rightly so. They are to us pieces of shits. They have always been. Since the time of the Romans we were the aggressor at the time. Okay, they invaded Italy. They looted Rome, Germans, and Germanic tribes, Vikings. So that's that's what happened. We we now are again again friends with Germany, like in the Second World War. Germany is again <laughs> near Russia with its troops in a different way but they are against near Russia with their troops fuck Germany fuck the European Union fuck the narrative they give us oh if you get out of Euro you're gonna be well it's like getting out of mafia protection well you're going you're bound to suffer consequences does that mean that mafia is a good thing? No. They're causing the same <laughs> bad result, results that they pretend to defend you from, you know. That's the European Union. That's the way it goes. You go out, you go out of the European Union, you're going to suffer consequences. European Italy wants to
to be free or the market is going to attack us. Well, I remember times where there were nations, people voted and each government decided their uh, policies, politics, financial, economical, social. Now, we vote just for the hell of it. Somewhere else is where decisions are made. And Donald Trump said, like America said, before we want to spread freedom. Well, we need freedom here in Europe. We want to have our own language. Now we speak in English, but believe you me, <laughs> Italy is going to be an English speaking country. Is it going to be good? No. Linguistic diversity is important, like cultural, biological diversity. Once you lost your language, you lost your identity. And uh, English is a very beautiful language, but belongs in English-speaking countries. That's what I think. That's why. I always, uh, I or, or I shoot these videos also in the languages I know Italian, which I know perfectly, and somehow I will manage to upload videos in modern Greek, which I have to prepare because I speak fluently, but it's not perfect and I don't find the right words even in English sometimes I don't find the right words at the right moment and um, but that's my video goodbye and let's hope that <sighs> they will not use what's going to happen tomorrow for their morbid sick purposes